Hello and welcome to the News in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 8 of 2021, appointing directors at the National Cyber Security Centre. Article 1 stipulates the appointment of Ahmed Isa Ahmed Abu Al Fatah as National Response Director and Ali Mohammed Ahmed Al Ziani as Cyber Protection Director. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Ibika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, issued a number of edicts appointing directors at SCW Secretariat General. The edicts appointed Sheikh Maryam bint Khalifa Al Khalifa as Director of SCW Secretary General's Office, Maha Abdullah Sabd as Director of Women's Information Centre, and Shaima Mohammed Al Mahmoud as Services and Resources Director. Under the directors of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs and Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation brief, Honorary President, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of the President of the Royal Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the activities of the 7th Local Arabian Breed Show Championship and the first horse of the Egyptian Breed Championship continued. The event is taking place at the Military Sports Union Square at Rashid Equestrian Club and Horse Racing in Al Rifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that Bahrain is one of the largest strongholds of purebred Arabian horses and the name and history of Bahrain have been associated with purebred Arabian horses since ancient times until the present time. He underscored the importance of preserving this heritage in accordance with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to take special care of Arabian horses, as they represent an important aspect of Bahrain's history and heritage. His Highness Sheikh Nasser directed brief to intensify efforts in organising various horse show championships for the purebred Arabian horses that are among the most important and ancient sports, and mainly related to continuing to preserve the values and authenticity of this sport, and to boost Bahrain's status in local breeding. His Highness added that this event is in line with His Highness's vision to consolidate the Kingdom's position in horseshoe championships and in the Bahraini owner's ability to compete competently and to enhance the position in foreign championships. His Highness Sheikh Nasser wished success to the stables and owners participating in the championships as well as to the working committees involved in the organisation. The Supreme Council for Health, the SCH President and Lieutenant General, Dr Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, urged full compliance with the mandatory precautionary measures to support national efforts to curb the spread of the novel coronavirus COVID-19. The Chairman of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19, Dr Sheikh Mohammed, he and the directors of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, urging the public to show responsibility and adhere to the mandatory precautionary measures and health protocols. He underlined the relentless efforts to protect citizens and residents' safety and health, adding that the recent spike of infections results from failure to adhere to mandatory precautionary measures and health protocols. He said the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19 has stepped up efforts and other competent authorities to enforce the law to ensure the mandatory precautionary measures and health protocols are heeded. He stressed the importance of reducing gatherings in order to contribute to combating the virus and reducing its spread rates by limiting community contact after returning from workplaces, outside the same family, at home and in a social environment. He said that the Kingdom of Bahrain is determined to build on the successes and achievements made in various stages in dealing with the virus in a way that meets the national interests and protects the health and safety of citizens and residents. In implementation of the directors of the coordinating committee headed by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Labour Fund Tamkeen announced the provision of support to restaurants that are limited to providing internal services only. This coincided with the announcement of the recent recommendations of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, COVID-19, in view of the recent developments regarding the virus. Tamkeen will provide support within the business continuity programmes aimed at enterprises affected by the consequences of the pandemic. Therefore, the period of support provided will be one month, starting from February 2021. The CEO of the Tamkeen Labour Fund, Dr Ibrahim Mohamed Janahi, explained that the Tamkeen team will communicate with the concerned groups of restaurants and cafes to confirm the request 
and decide on the payment of dues as soon as possible. In this regard, he stressed the importance of national efforts in which all workers are among the first rows to combat the spread of the coronavirus, stressing the directives and sound decisions taken by the Kingdom in order to preserve the safety of citizens and support the sustainability of development process. Based on the joint keenness between the Bahrain Institute for Political Development and the General Secretariat of the Shura Council to support legislative work and as a continuation of the parliamentary support programmes offered to the members of the Shura Council, the Institute organised an electronic workshop under the title Legislative Regulation to Protect Environmental Sustainability and Future Challenges presented by the Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and CEO of the Supreme Council for the Environment. Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana. During the workshop, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak reviewed the vision and strategy of the Supreme Council for the Environment through protecting the environment, preserving its living resources and developing them for future generations, and the Council's message to work as an integrated management of ecosystems and natural resources for sustainable development. Dr. Mohammed touched on the legislative and legal aspect that the Council is responsible for. He also discussed the most important policies and legislation governing the protection of the environmental sustainability. The Special Envoy for Climate Affairs explained the most prominent features of the strategic plan for the environment and the extent of its implementation with the competent authorities. Medena concluded the workshop by emphasising the role of the Supreme Council for the Environment in promoting and raising environmental awareness among the community in all its segments and many initiatives projects and programmes were implemented annually. The President of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Abdullah Nas, praised the important economic dimensions of the new Bahrain International Airport, praising in this regard the initiatives of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in completing infrastructure projects and doubling efforts for the growth of the national economy by stimulating its sectors in order to achieve the goals of the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Mr Nas pointed out that the new airport constitutes another qualitative addition to the development process in the Kingdom of Bahrain and it is one of the most modern airports in the region with a capacity of 14 million passengers annually and is equipped with the latest equipment according to international standards will have great importance for Bahraini economy and a real translation of Bahrain economic vision 2030. NAS also emphasised that the Bahraini private sector has the capabilities and opportunities that enable it to fulfil its role in leading the wheel of economic development in the Kingdom with projects, programmes and economic plans that provide it with growth potential and a comprehensive infrastructure that allows it to expand through pioneering national projects such as the new airport. The new passenger terminal at Bahrain International Airport, which was inaugurated on Thursday, is considered a vital economic edifice in which the Kingdom of Bahrain has launched the new year with confidence, despite the great economic challenges affecting the world as a whole due to the corona pandemic. The Minister of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 3,467, with 327 recoveries. 387 registered new cases. 159 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 216 are contacts of active cases and 12 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. <laughs> 